Other news now. Survivors of clergy sexual abuse all have different stories, but one experience seems to be a common one, substance abuse. And News 4's Jen Chance is hearing from two survivors tonight who say they often turn to drugs and alcohol to cope. Jen? Don, both James Faluzak and Michael Whalen battled alcohol or drug addiction after their abuse. Not all survivors struggle with abuse like this, but they tell me it's common among the survivors they spoke to. Now they're both speaking out, reminding Finding victims that help is out there and that they're not alone. When the abuse happened to me, I was 13, just coming out of eighth grade, going into ninth grade. At that time, I never drank, I never smoked marijuana or did anything like that. But that all changed for Michael Whalen after he was abused. I was starting to blackouts where I don't remember coming home. At we met Whalen in March when he shared his story publicly for the first time. Days later, the Buffalo Diocese released a list of 42 accused priests, including his alleged abuser. I tried to minimize it, and, and that's ultimately what I was using the alcohol for was I was having this creeping sense of anxiety. I was having flashbacks. James Faluzak is a survivor of clergy abuse and also a former priest. He battled alcoholism for years after his abuse, eventually giving up ministry life altogether. I, I gave up my pulpit. I gave up saying mass at the altar. Those were more important to me than the other things that I lost. We see that folks may have co-occurring disorders, substance use, because of the type of trauma they experienced, and that can impact further in life. Caitlin Powalski of Crisis Services says substance abuse and childhood trauma often go hand in hand. People abused by family members or people they trust, like priests, can often face even more obstacles when it comes to reporting the abuse and coping with it afterwards. Whalen says it took him decades to tell his wife what happened. I think what we do is we just try to hide the pain. Faluzak, who testified before a Pennsylvania grand jury on alleged clergy abuse, says while he's not drinking, he still battles unexpected panic attacks. He takes his sobriety one step at a time. I can't say I have control of it, but I also wouldn't say right now that it has control of me either. Now, Crisis Services has a 24-hour confidential hotline if you or anyone you know is battling substance abuse or just needs to talk. News 4 at 6 will be right back.